Hey everyone, this is John Ashburton, and we've got a lot of people on tonight. Awesome. Before we get started, I just want to check you guys can hear me and see my screen okay. Just let me know in the comments box if that's working for you. The comments box will be on the right side of the screen with the list of people here. Uh, you can also send through private questions via email underneath the video screen here. Okay, Todd can hear me, Russell, Sarah, cool, cool. You guys can all hear me then. And, and see me, yes. Uh, the last time I did one of these webinar things, someone did say to me 15 minutes in that they couldn't see my screen. Uh, so in fact, no one could have seen the screen. Super embarrassing. Uh, now, if you haven't already, please grab a paper and pen because we're going to cover this introduction to Police Academy Secrets pretty quick and good notes will really help you put this to use. Also, if you've got other windows open or you're on Facebook, um, I know there's some cool stuff on going on there, uh, but please shut all that down so we can just focus here for the next 30 minutes or so. Same for phones, emails. We've got some great stuff here and I just don't want you to miss out. One last thing, I'm just curious to see where everyone is at. So if you can just type in real quick what state you're in or, or country, if we've got some international applicants online tonight as well as if you're still doing the selection exams or you're already at the academy or, or you're right at the beginning. Okay, so we've got uh, Gabby in Queensland, Sean, Queensland. Okay, heaps of you in Queensland, okay. Uh, I'm now seeing we've also got WA, Victoria, South Australia, one in New South Wales and, and more, okay. So we've got plenty of people in and around the country here. Right, so the topic of tonight's webinar is all about preparing for the actual police academy training. So if you're still in the selection phase, that's cool, but we're really going to focus on getting you ready for police academy training, specifically some simple techniques to break down some old beliefs you might have about how to study and get you on track with some much more efficient methods that will save you tons of time and make academy training the fun that it can be. The full scope is going to be how to overcome these three hurdles of I can't focus in study, I don't have time to study, and even when I do study, I don't remember any of it. After that, I'm going to give you a quick rundown of the new course, Police Academy Secrets, and if you stay on till the very end, uh, I'm also going to share with you the one technique I use to literally shave hours and hours of study time off my schedule every single week. I mean, have you ever been learning something and the information starts coming so quick you can barely keep track of what is being taught, let alone remember any of it? Well, this one trick will help prevent that sort of thing ever happening at the Academy. So make sure you stick around right to the end so you don't end up wasting hours of time that could be spent doing whatever else you'd rather be doing. Um, and this is just as useful for those of you in the selection stage too if you're preparing for your exams. I'm also talking from a position of experience in all this study stuff and I just want to share with you guys really quick a bit of my story at the Academy. As some of you already know, I had a pretty tough time adjusting to life at the police academy. I'd barely arrived in the state with my family before the first day, and I found the police recruit culture a significant shift from my previous employment. In fact, it would be hard to imagine a worse first day at the academy than what I experienced. I made wrong turns on the way in, almost got lost, did almost turn up late, I uh, left for a couple of hours to attend a funeral in the middle of the day and I missed some critical introductions, including some of the scenario hour run by detectives to help us prepare for all the tasks ahead. Um, embarrassingly, I had a police siren alarm go off on my phone uh, during this mock court thing they'd set up. Uh, this is about the most silent point of the day, so that was humiliating. And finally, I got back to my car at the end of the day and discovered that uh, I'd inadvertently parked between two smaller cars and there was no actual third car park. And accordingly, I had an outrageously expensive parking ticket waiting on my windscreen. So, uh, good first day. Anyway, despite this shocking start, I applied some key principles over the following months and went on not only to graduate, but to receive multiple awards, uh, including overall ducks of the course. However, my most proud achievement at the Academy was being awarded the Minister's Award. Uh, this recognized me as making the most contribution to my fellow squad members throughout the course. Uh, what's so special about that award is it's determined not by grades or rankings, but rather on the opinion of the other recruits on the course. And I'm still great mates today with many of my fellow squad members. Um, okay, hang on a sec. Okay, our support team are getting quite a few emails that the chat box isn't working. Uh, so if that is the case uh, for you, just use the email box that you've got if, you, if that's working. Um, at least that's there for you. 
Uh, if there are any of you who don't even have that, then you can save your questions and just email them through to me at info at policeprep.com.au. Uh, just put attention John in the subject there and that will come through to me. If that is what you're seeing, it means you've somehow ended up, as in if you're seeing uh, you, you don't have that chat box, you're probably on the replay system somehow. Uh, of course, if you're watching this as a replay, <laughs> that would be why. Uh, but I am getting emails right now that uh, this is an issue. Technology. Okay, it's all good. We'll get to your questions anyway. Okay, uh, back to the webinar. Uh, the other thing I want to mention real quick is that success of the academy is not just about graduation. It's about building the right foundation for a successful police career. There are quite a few police officers who stumbled their way through police academy with me and they barely made it over the line. And these were often the types of people who then floundered under pressure of real life police pressure. They became a liability to their team and more often than not, uh, they, didn't much, they didn't last uh, much longer than their probationary period of service. Looking at my own police recruit squad, over 15% of my squad had already resigned uh, by the time we were due to come off probation. So clearly there is much more at stake uh, for you in the months ahead at Police Academy. If you don't get this right, you may end up wasting years of your life in a career you simply didn't know how to prepare for. On the flip side, if you set yourself up for success, then the payoff will go on for years to come for both you and the people you care about. And the techniques I want to share with you tonight are what helped me to jump to the top of the class, but more importantly, really enjoy my police training. First off, other than the fitness training that goes on at the academy, there are basically three areas you'll be learning and developing at the academy. Now, these are legal and procedural studies, operational tactics and accoutrements, um, including weapons and firearms, and emergency driving and vehicle handling. And for every one of these, it's a combination of theory and practical. So even the tactics and driving elements and those parts that are real you know, hands-on, they have written study components. In fact, it is this theory that is often assessed more stringently than the practical. So if I were to narrow academy preparation down to just one primary discipline, it is how to study. I know that doesn't sound very exciting, but just hear me out here because getting this sorted is the secret to having the time to enjoy all the other parts of academy life, including making lifelong friends, uh, some obstacle course racing, role playing, scenario activities, because everyone will get the opportunity for these extras. Uh, but if you're stuck in the books every night, then you'll be too tired to really capitalize on the more fun and enjoyable aspects of training. The problem for most of us is that nobody ever took the time to teach us how to study. We were just expected to figure something out, but that doesn't work for most people. So what I want to share with you is the best I've learned in techniques that apply across the board in fixing this shortfall. So I'm now going to cover three study secrets to help you get control of this matter. Again, uh, developing your own custom solutions to all this is the purpose of the Smart Study Success System which is part of the Police Academy secrets. But really quick, let's just look at overcoming the first hurdle here of, I can't focus to study. Well, when we finish this section here, you will have learned how anyone can learn to focus on anything. Have you ever tried to sit down and study and within seconds, your mind starts wandering off on other thoughts and pretty soon you have to start all over again. And then, before you know it, several minutes have passed and you haven't learned anything. Uh, just let me know in the comments box here, have you ever experienced this? We got a few yeses, yes, I think we've all had this before. Um, now, it can be fairly natural to get upset about that. And, and we've been trained this way. Uh, we're trained to distraction now. TV, ads, all the electronics. I mean, the way that we interact with, with the environment now is, uh, is very stop-start and things last for just a few seconds. So it's not actually your fault. And indeed, it is these modern environments that are working against our natural senses to stop us focusing. The good news is that you can fight back this learned tendency to jump from thing to thing. And you can literally fight fire with fire, which means the very technology that caused the problems is often the answer to the solution. Using modern technology hacks like this comes up quite a bit throughout the coming course Police Academy Secrets. And this first one I want to share is using scientifically produced music tracks that are proven to enhance focus. 
Uh, but first, let's take a quick look at the history of this issue on focus. I mean, it's called other things like attention, concentration, focus, flow. Uh, these are words associated with mental states that assist in doing work. And if we can focus our attention, we might be able to concentrate long enough to reach this flow state and actually get some done, some study done, sorry. Uh, in this stimulation rich world, focusing attention and finding flow though, is easier said than done. Our senses are constantly inundated with information, the light from the windows, the sights of other people passing by outside, smells of cafes, the sounds of others' conversations, dogs barking, city traffic, the feeling of whatever surface you're working on, literally the weight of your clothing, all these little things add up. And each time you notice something in your environment, you're paying attention to it. And the ability to, uh, to focus your attention on something while ignoring competing stimuli is called selective attention by psychologists. And we would never get anything done without it. I mean, can you imagine how distracting it would be to notice every little detail that I mentioned just earlier? Uh, yet regardless, these are coming in through your senses. So selective attention has been likened to a spotlight uh, that you focus on something. And like a spotlight, the beam can be wide or narrow. Now, right now, your spotlight is focused on this webinar. Hopefully. <laughs> Do you remember I asked you to turn off Facebook and your phone or any other windows you've got open? This is to help you maintain a narrow spotlight beam. Other aspects of your environment fade into the background in relation to what is in your attentional spotlight. And until something distracting happens in your environment and refocuses you, um, it, it stays on your spotlight. Um, the question many people want answered is how they can maximize this focus so that their environment becomes less distracting. And there's some neuroscience and psychology studies that give us clues to help answer this question. Uh, stepping back a few million years, uh, we look at the human brain developed was really suited to a life of nomadic, hunter-gatherer, social groups, a lifestyle very different to what we have now. Um, and our focus is highly influenced by these evolved senses. Our eyes are our most important asset. Uh, they take up most of the real estate of our senses in our, near our brain. Uh, nearly one third of our brains, in fact, dedicated to vision. And we're capable of detecting a single photon of light hitting our retina. As well as stealthy predators camouflaged against the grassy savanna or prey hiding in the trees. Um, our ears can translate sounds between 20 and 20,000 hertz, which is marvellous for making out the distinct calls of birds or the hushed voices of our tribal neighbours sounding low over the evening fire. Our somatic senses warn us when a tick brushes past a hair in our neck on its search for a meal, or just as importantly, when our bodies are running low on fuel. Um, and this is really all fine minutia stuff that would have been useful. Uh, but today, we don't have to worry about predators and prey is often at the local Woolworth store. So the neural equipment we evolved to detect has become distracting to us. Uh, information transformed from its particular modality, whether it's sight, sound, touch, etc., uh, into the language of the nervous system um, is, is becoming distracting. Now, for example, when you listen to music, sound waves hit your eardrum. These are transferred to the cochlea in your inner ear, where the microscopic cells called hair cells are made to vibrate. And the movement of the hair cells turns the mechanical energy of this wave into chemical signals that stimulate auditory, nerve, auditory nerves to fire action potentials. I know that's a mouthful. I had to read that paragraph off <laughs> now. But before I go too deep into technical mumbo jumbo, uh, the ultimate effect that I'm getting at here is that sounds are really one of the most overlooked determinants of effective focus. Like really determinant, exactly what they are and how they are heard. And this leads to all sorts of phenomena that have been misinterpreted over the decades. For example, although cafes are full of noises of all sorts, many people find it easier to work in the loud cafe than a quiet library. Some say this phenomenon is the result of cognitive load. Uh, your brain only has so much processing power for any given modality at a time. And so this overloads the senses um, and usually lasts for about 20 minutes or so of focus. Uh, you basically get used to the noise and this is called habituation. But this has been mistakenly translated as any noise being useful for studying. And the classic mistake uh, is listening to the radio, as it's also proven that anything that is beaming out clearly heard words, whether it's music, talk radio, you know, anything with lyrics, is preventing your brain from complete focus. 
In fact, most popular music is directly designed to prevent focus. That's why you enjoy listening to it. It, it too is scientifically designed, but it's scientifically designed to distract and entertain. So indeed, not all sounds are created equal. So it seems part of the trick is occupying your brain just enough to let you work. So accordingly, some music is better than others. Listening to music with soothing aspects, usually play around 60 beats per minute, uh, can decrease neural activity and lead to a relaxed but awake state, and this is called the alpha state. Uh, this is also called being in flow, and this is where we must be for our most effective study. If you can study for this, like for 20 minutes, you will get more done than most will get in a couple of hours. Plus, there is now technology that produces this exact type of music. Now, it's not free, but the value of time that this has saved me over the past years is hard to explain. It's a specific focus program that allows you to literally focus at will, uh, which is also what it's called, focus at will. So you can check it out at focusatwill.com. Uh, it's actually started by a guy called Will. Uh, that's not Will on the, uh, on the picture there. Uh, he's an older, more wise guy, a <laughs> uh, bit of a scientist. Uh, anyway, I'll put a link to the site on the replay email of this webinar, uh, but I recommend it anyway. Plus, if you really don't want to pay, you can still follow the link and you can do a free trial with them. So check that out, focusatwill.com. Uh, personally, what I found really awesome about this service is the constant variety. Uh, because there's another fact about music that when you listen to familiar music, your brain starts following along and sort of predicting what's going on. So it becomes more occupied with the music. I know that's a bit counterintuitive because you would think, you know, I would have thought new music, you would think it's being stimulated at something new, but it's actually the reverse. So having new tracks come up that are designed in this way to enhance focus um, actually works much, much better than say if you had, you know, a series of, you know, 30 tracks that you always listen to those 30 tracks. Anyway, enough of my rant on uh, Focus by Music. Uh, because it's not just about listening to music. Focus also comes from intrinsic motivation. Now, if I gave you a set of 100 different laws to learn in one week, and I told you, if you remember all of these in a week's time, I'm going to give you $5. How much effort would you put in? <laughs> right, a few people commenting. Uh, people telling me to get stuffed. Right, yes. Yes, that's probably what you'd say. <laughs> what if I told you that I would give you $5,000? Okay, suddenly you're a little bit more inspired to learn the material. Now, money doesn't have to be the motivator, and I only use it as a simple example. Uh, but the point is, if you can start to give yourself real rewards separate to the reward of passing tests, you can get some real intrinsic motivation to study effectively. Otherwise, you end up focusing, and, uh, or rather not focusing, on and off, on and off, uh, which actually leads to the next big thing I want to talk about, which is overcoming your belief that says to you, I don't have time to study. And what you're really saying when you say this to yourself is that you can't study fast enough to fit in your study with the time you have available. You see, the answer to this question is twofold. On one hand, you have the available time, and that is what most people focus on. But time is finite. There's only so much of it, and the second part of the answer is what you have to do in that time, or what you're doing in that time. And this is the only way to really have more time. Uh, let me ask you, have, have you ever had the experience of studying for a test in a methodical fashion over a semester, um, whether it's school or university or some other education you were doing, and when you got towards the time for the exam, you still needed to study everything all over again? Yep, a few yeses. Jason, this is what always happens. Yes, <laughs> okay. Uh, then some of you might have also had the experience of just leaving it all till the last minute. And suddenly you have all the distractions switched off, you become extremely effective, and you get everything done at the last minute. Yes, yes, who's written that assignment out at the last minute? Yeah, I think a lot of us have done that before. Yeah, okay, cool. All right, well, the big secret at play here is that efficiency of study is far more important than the duration of your study. But if we can capture this fact before the last minute, then we get the benefits of both the efficiency and reducing the stress of last minute jitters. So instead of focusing on squeezing out more time, what I suggest you do is focus on squeezing out more efficiency. 
Now, we've already learned one focus technique through scientifically proven music tracks that enhance instead of decrease focus. And now we want to look at other ways to boost this efficiency. And this second technique is about where the time is instead of how much time is spent. In other words, smart scheduling your study. Now, this is very individual, so I'm not going to pretend, you, pretend to tell you um, what's going to work for you. But what I do advise is to test things. Because this is one of those areas where the most obvious solution may not be appropriate and the most effective solution may in fact surprise you. Uh, for example, uh, myself, I'm typically a night person. So I used to do all my study at night because it felt right and I figured I was at my best then. But then uh, one day I had an ongoing family emergency, which meant I needed to be up early in the morning for several weeks. And interestingly, this happened whilst I was at the academy. And I suddenly needed to do all my study in the morning. And what happened shocked me. Instead of studying for two hours at night, I was getting it done in less than an hour in the morning. But the super cool thing is that I had a little extra time to look into this study stuff. And that was when I worked out all these new brand new study hacks that shot me to the top of the class and changed my whole life for everything I've needed to learn since. So it's often the flow on effects of these little changes that are more amazing than the initial benefits. Anyway, that's just for me. So I'm just saying, if you've been studying at night, try the morning. If you've been studying in the morning, just try the night, etc. You've got nothing really to lose here. You just got hours and hours of your life to gain. So really have a go at finding out what works for you. So we've learned now how to focus on anything and that when you study is far more important than how long you study. But this is all for naught if you don't remember anything, which is the third big study secret I want to share with you. Uh, this is where we have to look at more modern memorization and note taking methods that blow away the cobwebs of ridiculous systems of rote learning and wasted hours of repetition. Because the truth is that rote learning doesn't work for most people. Yet it's the system that most of us are taught. So, you know, most of us in Australia going through school, rote learning is a system that we're encouraged to use through primary school, high school, etc. Um, but for most of us, it doesn't work. So there's this complete disconnect with what we're being encouraged to do and, and what works. So again, none of this is your fault. You've simply been told to go barking up the wrong study tree of sorts, something like that. So what I want to share with you here is the tool I discovered that gave me two incredible results. Number one, I suddenly remembered, I'd say conservatively, an additional 50% more of what I was learning. And number two, what used to take me an hour to take notes on took me 10 minutes. So I learned more in a fraction of the time. Uh, how many people on the webinar here tonight are interested in learning what this might be? Let me know. Yes, I've got a lot of so yeses. I've got some hell yeses. Thank you, Darren. Okay. Okay, cool. So here it is. And some of you might already be familiar with this uh, because it has become extremely popular. So perhaps it is not much of a secret anymore. Uh, what is it? It's mind maps because rote learning works for only a few and mind maps work for most. Now, some of you are probably sitting there going, oh, is that all? Or some of you are probably like, uh, what the hell is a mind map? Either way, just hear me out as I want to help put this into context of studying multiple facets of police training and why mind maps are so brilliant at helping you tie it all together when it matters, which is not just the exams, but actually on the street where it really counts. Uh, first of all, let me show you a quick explanation of a mind map and how it works. Okay, as you can see here, it's another way of taking notes without just lines and lines of information. The idea being that your brain isn't really wired to remember lines of bland information. However, if you add colors and a physical tree-like structure to it, it's easier for stronger neural connections to form and actually lock in the data for your mind for recollection later on like in an exam or on the street deciding, uh, deciding what your legal rights and obligations are. Um, now, what I've got up here is just a sample thing. I was going to show you my academy notes, but I realized it might look a bit overwhelming. Uh, plus, I didn't want you to accidentally show off. Oh, sorry, I didn't want to show off anything uh, that wasn't accurate and up to date. Uh, so I've created a simple explanation here, a simple example, uh, just to help illustrate the point with some current legal examples. Um, we're going to use stealing laws and arresting uh, for examples here. Now I know you can't see the details here, so I'm going to zoom in on the map here a little bit here. 
Um, and what I wanted to show you is that basically you can use mind maps to separate your various areas of study, but have them centrally branching out from whatever the topic is. So here you've got one broad example of police academy. Potentially you've got all these areas of driving tactics, equipments, radios, uh, the legal studies. You'd have your various branches here. I've just got the one here for you for the example, which is stealing. Uh, your powers of arrest, uh, arrest documentation requirements. And what I'm going to quickly show you here is how mind maps help you to tie all this together. So say, for example, we're looking at uh, powers of arrest or we're looking at a scenario even uh, which has a decision point on whether or not to arrest someone. Now, this is not a legal studies lesson, so if some of this doesn't make sense, that's okay. Uh, the point is just, just uh, go with me here as I explain how I'm linking my notes together um, across different lessons that would have been at the academy to come all together to match into scenario training where it counts, for example. So um, I'm basically deciding, okay, with my arrest here, is this an arrestable offense? Is this a serious offense or a non-serious offense? Okay, and I, I know in my, in my head because it's easier to visualize a mind map. This is why it's really useful because you don't need the actual notes in front of you um, because you can start, you know, visualizing where things are. Okay, you know that stealing is categorized under serious offenses. Okay, so you know that's an arrestable offense here. Um, but if you're not sure whether or not it actually fits as stealing, um, then you're going to fall back on your legal studies and then you know you know where that branches out from your legal studies and here we have stealing. And again, easy, easy to visualize this five tree method. Now, I've written out this in a linear fashion, which is not necessarily the way to go, uh, but this is just so I can explain it to you on a screen. Uh, you might branch this out, you might have various colors. Um, these are what will help you to remember these things. Um, okay, so in this uh, scenario, we're looking at someone, you know, taking someone's uh, handbag and running off with it, for example. And, you know, we, we can quickly remember off our mind map that, you know, does that fit off one or more of these elements here? You know, intent to permanently deprive in this case is all we need. They're taking it. They're not going to give it back. You know, we're done. Um, we know it's a serious offense. So we can, uh, and then we also have our arrest documentation requirements. So because we've got this visualization in our head of the whole map of our notes, we can sort of check through, okay, we've got our powers of arrest, we've got our, our legal studies to tell us, you know, which elements are required, okay, we've got one. Um, you know, what, what else was it that I needed to remember? And you, you've got this picture in your head of this, you know, this wider mind map here, if I can zoom out and show it to you. And so it's easy to remember, okay, there's this third thing here, the documentation requirements. What are all those things I need to remember? And again, when you go through these, you will have taught these in a, you will have been uh, taught these in a different lesson. Uh, but you can go through this in your mind easier because you may have set this up as another branch tree diagram. Again, all easy to relate it together, uh, to pull it together from that one scenario of stealing, because you've got this in in uh, you know one big picture. So your mind can recall the information much easier. The other thing is that writing it down like this uh, actually locks it in your mind a little bit better for most people than just writing out lines and lines of information. So there are a few ideas that you can take action on to seriously boost your ability to focus for extended periods. You've got a super quick rundown on using scientifically created music to enhance focus, the importance of experimenting with when you study and the value of using mind maps to improve your ability to recollect relevant and connected information. Um, there they are, a one, two, three. And just remembering that, you know, this is for most people. So if rote learning works for you, then, you know, that's absolutely fine. So these are just some guidelines here to, just to help you get started. Uh, finally, uh, what was that trick I mentioned at the start of tonight's webinar? Uh, this is the technique I use to turn every class at the academy into my first study session and be one step ahead of the game. Now, have you guys seen the movie Catch Me If You Can? Um, it is getting a bit dated now, but uh, some of you may be familiar with the story anyway. Um, awesome movie about, you know, con men. And, and if you're into this line of work of law enforcement, then uh, definitely check it out if you haven't already. Uh, anyway, the movie is about a guy called uh, Frank Abernale, who was one of history's greatest con men. Anyway, one of the stories that was not in the movie was about how Frank fraudulently taught a whole semester of a university class uh, posing as a senior lecturer. Uh, anyway, he was asked later about how he managed to do this, and he said it was simple. Because he, he didn't know the material, like he wasn't qualified to do it, and this was one of his cons. Um, but he went through the whole semester. 
Uh, anyway, when he was asked about this, he said, uh, well, I didn't know anything about the topic, but all I had to do was read one chapter ahead of the class, and I knew more than 95% of the students. Well, I, I'm paraphrasing that, but that's roughly what he said. Um, and it, it's incredible, but this is actually a profound truth about study. Uh, not just because you get ahead, but when you're a student in the class and you've already read the material, your brain absorbs and retains significantly more information in the class because it's almost revision to you. So by doing pre-reading of, of your topics each day uh, or week, you can shave mountains of study time off because you remember so much more from the lesson. Um, so this is the secret. It's pre-reading. So you don't need to study so much. Literally, 10 minutes pre-reading, like just light skimming, can save hours of post-class study because you didn't have the brain space in class to really take it in. Um, now, I talk much more about how to do this uh, properly and the other benefits of this in the Smart Study Success System, um, which we're going to talk a little bit now um, shortly. But, um, I mean, we've, we've been on here for a little over half an hour now, or about half an hour, and I know some of this is going super fast for some people. Uh, which might be a good thing, as it could be a little preview about how quick each topic can go at the Police Academy. Uh, some of you have seen me use this photo here before. Uh, here it is. <laughs> I love this photo. Um, to explain the experience of Academy training. Uh, it's a bit like someone putting a fire hose in your mouth. So much information, and most of it just goes flying off in every other direction uh, if you don't know how to handle it. Uh, but I really wanted to just get a few key concepts across to you guys and, and give you some value for spending this time with me on tonight's webinar. I mean, has this been useful so far? Just let me know in the comments here. Cool, cool. People are loving it. Okay, yes. Absolutely, yes. That's, yeah, it really can save you some hassle. Exactly. Good way to put that. Um, now, let me ask you a question. This stuff has been pretty cool, right? And we've had a good time learning it all. We haven't really had been on too long. How would you guys like to work with me for a whole month on really how to implement this? I mean, imagine having set systems in place before you even start. Just let me know in the comments if you want help with this. Okay, I've got a few yeses. We've got lots of yeses. Okay, cool. All right. Now, what I'm offering is something for sale. So I just want to check at this point how many of you guys are interested in learning more on how to implement this. Yep, I, I just like to ask permission as I don't want to assume you want to go on with more of this. Okay, we've got stacks of yeses. Cool. Okay, cool. All right, now, if you haven't already heard of it, tonight you have the chance to join me in mastering the Smart Study Success System. Uh, this video course and worksheets takes you beyond the generic study ideas into developing your personal study habits and techniques that are matched to your best learning styles. Now, the goal of this is twofold. One is to help you kick butt and actually learn what you need to learn in order to be successful at the academy. And the second aim is to help you do it in a fraction of the time by getting rid of wasted inefficient study sessions and replacing them with super smart and focused study periods. But the thing is that teaching you advanced and efficient study methods isn't enough for me to know that you're going to make it through the academy. So I want to invite you to join me in a complete video series where I let you in on my complete experience of the academy and what I saw working and not working for me and other recruits. So in addition to the Smart Study Success System, you're also going to get access to the complete Police Academy Secrets training series. Uh, this is a four-week course in total covering a number of additional topics critical to your success. Uh, we'll be covering how to create your personal Smart Study Success System, the six steps to unleashing your police mindset, and then a full two-week progressive preview of what to expect in each component of academy training, from daily routines to tactics training to driver training and more. Uh, plus, I did mention the videos uh, will be responsive. No, I didn't mention that. <laughs> so the way this works is that we customize it as we go. So each week there is a new video, uh, and you get to ask questions between each week so I can customize each one as we go. Um, even if you don't get yours answered in the next video, I'll still be responding to you personally via email. With this set of customized videos though, you can complement the Smart Study Success System within the context of becoming a police officer and with the advanced knowledge of what to expect in each part of academy life. So you'll get the Smart Study Success System and the Complete Police Academy Secrets course. And this is valued at $9.97. But uh, what else do you need to be successful at the Police Academy? Well, this is all for naught if you don't have the energy to really take action on what I'm going to teach you. Uh, therefore, I'm going to give you full access to the Police Fit Sustainable Lifestyle video. 
In this tutorial, I'll be giving you the best of what I know of how to create a sustained system of health and vitality throughout your academy and career beyond. Now, this is not me telling you how to live your life, uh, rather a suite of information on what we've found works for other police officers, and more importantly, a series of steps you can take to develop your own system of what works for you. Our aim in this component is to optimize your energy level so you can actually implement everything you've learned so far. So combined, you're going to get the Smart Study Success System and Police Academy Secrets course valued at 997 and the Police Fit Sustainable Lifestyle to build your most powerful physiology valued at $97. So what else do you need for a successful career? Well, I mentioned earlier that my purpose is not just to get you selected and onto the academy, but really give you your best shot at a successful and enjoyable career. Therefore, I'm also going to give you this transformational video on how to walk the thin blue line. This final video will round off your preparation by setting you up with tangible ideas and activities developed from real life experience on what has worked for serving police officers, living the tough balance of maintaining the stringent calls of duty against the balance of a sustainable, personal and family life. Now we'll be talking uh, some very tough topics here, including the high rates of depression and what you can do to prevent this all too common disaster. Most importantly, it's here that you'll learn how to develop your own routines that work just for your specific circumstances. Um, and this transformational experience is valued at $97. So right now, what are you going to get? The complete Police Academy Secrets course, including the Smart Study Success System, the Police Fit Sustainable Lifestyle, How to Walk the Thin Blue Line, total value at $1,191. So what else do you need? <laughs> I mean, well, I wanted to work out a way to really start adding more value to this upfront at the beginning before we even get through the rest of the videos. So before we even start, I sat down and I put together an additional series of videos to cover off some bonus material, uh, including four new videos. These are recruit relations using Microsoft Windows and other applications, which are common to all Australian police services, how to enjoy shift work, and finally, the seven habits of highly effective police officers. This additional series of videos is valued at $397. So quick recap of what you're going to get here is the complete Police Academy Secrets video course, the Smart Study Success System, the Police Fit Sustainable Lifestyle, how to walk the thin blue line, plus the bonus series on recruit relations using Microsoft Windows and other applications are common to the Australian Police Services, how to enjoy shift work, and finally the seven habits of highly effective police officers. Total values over $1,500. Now, I'm not gonna charge this today, but I do have a question for you. Even if I did charge you $1,500 for this, and all this package did for you was finally give you the kick in the butt you need to successfully take actions necessary to get to the academy and then graduation. Would that be worth it to you? If all this training did for you was give you the study skills that you could spend two hours a week studying instead of 20 hours, would that be worth it? I mean, would you pay $1,500 today to save this time? Yeah, I know I would have. If all these videos did for you was set you up for an enjoyable time at the academy, let alone your subsequent police career, would that be worth it to you? Now, I know that would be worth it. Now, when I was trying to price this, I kind of had two options I had to work through. Option one was to price it really cheaply and reach as many people as possible. But the problem with this is that it didn't really incentivize me to really stack on the value and devote enough resources to make sure I'm really making a difference. And I know for most people, they want as much value as they can get. Am I right? Yep. Right, so the second option then, and this option requires a little bit higher investment from you guys, but in exchange for that, I can devote more resources, customize each week's training, and basically give you the time you need to help you through the preparation trainings to significantly enhance your chances of success. Now, I don't know about you, but I always want as many resources as I can get to help guarantee my success. Because of that, obviously we went with the second option. Now, before I do reveal the price, I want to ask you guys a question. What would it be worth to you to just remove the stress and pain of academic study during police training? To have a system that you knew would work for you regardless of the challenges, and then if you followed it, you would sail through the actual exams and tests. How much would you pay for that? Would you pay $1,000? $1,500? So you could know that part of academy training was handled. No more stress or panic about how to manage the study load. This could be saving you literally hundreds of hours of wasted study time over dozens of weeks of training. If it did that for you, you could see how this would be a pretty good deal at $1,000. But because you're part of the Police Preparation Australia community 
and you're here watching this webinar and because I do care about your success, I want to look after you and I want to do something special. So to help make this a complete no-brainer and help guarantee your success, I'm going to help you get started today for just one single payment of 397 So to help put this in perspective, after this course I'm going to be making the replay of the series available at $497 and you're getting this custom version for 397 plus all the additional bonus video trainings and handouts in the course. Uh, basically, right now, you've got two choices. So the first choice is you can do nothing at all and not take this leap of faith. Or your second option is to pony up this small amount of money today, which is tiny compared to all the value you're getting in return, and just give it a shot. In fact, uh, let me ask, how many people out there would be willing to try this if it was free? Okay, <laughs> everybody wants to try for free. Okay, cool. Well, basically, I'm going to give you opportunity to go through the entire course and bonuses. And if you don't find value, just let me know anytime within 30 days and I'll give all your money back. No questions or justifications, just all your money back. Simple. Uh, so just look at the course, see how this can work for you. This is exactly what helped me blitz the academy and graduate at the top of my squad with the enjoyment and satisfaction of making friends and having the time to develop a lifelong friendships early on in my training, instead of being stressed out and in a state of fear throughout the course. And again, it's risk-free, because if you decide it won't work for you, then I figure I don't deserve your money. Uh, do you guys agree that's fair? Cool. So you can get in now, and if for any reason, even if it's 29 days and 23 hours later, just let me know in an email and I'll send all your money back. Uh, but you don't need to make that decision right now. The only decision you've got to make is that I'm going to get started right now and check this thing out. You can get in there, go through the whole course and bonuses, check it all out and decide for yourself. Does that sound like it's worth a shot? Just let me know what you think. Okay, <laughs> Darren says that's freaking awesome. Thank you, Darren. Uh, more people saying yes, I'm in. Cool, cool. Um, for the rest of you guys, the real question is this. Is it worth just a few minutes of your time to check this out? Which even if you only get half the benefits I'm talking about will radically enhance your academy training. So here's a quick recap of what you're going to get. First, you get access to the Police Academy Secrets course, including the Complete Smart Study Success System, How to Unleash Your Police Mindset, your two-week progressive preview of Police Academy training, the Police Fit Sustainable Lifestyle training, and the transformational video on how to walk the thin blue line, plus the bonus series of videos on additional topics of recruit relations, using Microsoft Windows and other applications common to Australian police services, how to enjoy shift work, and finally, the seven habits of effective police officers. All this for 397. Now, I'm also going to do something amazing here just for the first 40 people in here. This is just the first 40 because I like to reward action takers. One of the most frustrating thing about working in the police was partnering with indecisive officers. So if you're a decisive person and ready to start now, then I want to give you even more value. So this is not for everybody, but if you're one of the first 40 people in right now, then I'm going to open up complete access to the additional video course of Police Academy Success all about busting police academy myths, how to make an outstanding first impression on day one, and how to maximize your personal productivity. And I'm also going to let you into this full and upgraded package for another $100 off. So you get absolutely everything for just 297 But this is just the first 40 people in. Is anyone already in? Yes, let me know what you think in the chat box. Cool. Sarah says, fantastic, I'm in. I already bought and I was wondering why it was only 297 Yes, it's not an error. Uh, you're in the first 40, so it's only 297 Cool, cool. Um, so yes, if you go through now, you'll see the discounted price come up. It'll only process for the first 40. Uh, after that, the order form won't work and you'll need to go back out and restart the form at 397 So as I said, the additional discount is not for everyone, uh, but if you want the extra bonuses as well, you need to act fast. Simply go through to registration or go to policeprepmembers.com.au forward slash secrets policeprepmembers.com.au forward slash secrets. If you're in the first 40, you'll see that come up at 297. As most of you know, I had a fairly tough start to the academy, but I managed to pull everything together over the ensuing months and graduate at the top of my squad. More importantly, my fellow recruits recognized me as making a significant contribution to the entire squad. We were in fact a complete squad from day one to graduation. Every single one of us graduated. Even if one of us was on crutches. No, that wasn't me, but one was on crutches. Uh, so this course is my opportunity now to share with you the very best in preparations that I wish I'd had leading up to the academy. Because I didn't have anyone to give me these key insights beforehand, and it really would have made a world of difference to my earlier struggles. 
So that's basically what this is. You and me going step by step through a series of systems designed to give you what you need to not only graduate but do so with enjoyment and really set up well for a successful police career. This opportunity to get in at $297 is just for the first 40 and after that the price will be increasing uh, by $100. So now one last recap, uh, everyone, you get full access to the Police Academy Secret Series, plus all the bonus videos you can see listed here on the screen. Now I'm going to stay on the webinar for a short time here in case any of you have questions. And I'm, I can see I've got questions coming in already. Uh, but again, if you're an action taker, I don't want you to miss out on the extra discount and additional videos. So you can click the register button and the webinar will keep going for your questions. But you do need to complete the registration form in order to get your extra discount. Once we hit uh, 40 enrollments, it won't process anymore at 297 and the price goes up $100. All right, so first question. Ahmed says, I'm still preparing for the selection test. Should I register for this anyway? Okay, cool. Good question. If you're going through the selection process, then you can still consider having a look at this. The Smart Study Success System on its own will greatly enhance your chances of just getting through the initial tests. Plus, a lot of the habits and techniques you will learn if you're a while out from the academy, it will work even better because you'll have some time to develop them. In other words, it'll become second nature by the time you hit the academy. So, yeah. Um, next question, Jane says, I've already purchased the Police Exam Master eBook series. Will the video course be on a separate membership? Yes, great question. We've recently switched over to this new member download uh, system. Um, so a lot of you will have seen that. You log on to your member page to download the other eBooks that you purchased. So when you purchase the Police Academy Secrets course here, all your new videos, all the bonus material will all get added to your existing account. Uh, the key is to use the same email address as your current membership when you purchase. Even if you have any problems, just let the support team know and we'll get it all fixed up for you super quick. Uh, the actual Police Academy Secrets videos will be coming up each week once we get started. Uh, but as soon as you get in, you'll see the first week's video um, as well as uh, most of the bonus videos already sitting there for you. Okay, next question from Sam. Uh, I already registered, but I can't see my bonus videos. Okay. Oh, yep. So Sam, it's probably in your membership access, there's actually two separate sections. So you've got a section for the Police Academy Secrets and Smart Study Success System, but you'll have another tab for the bonus videos that are part of just this offer. So that's a separate tab there. You'll just need to click on that on the left. Um, if for some reason it's not there, just email me at uh, info at policeprep.com.au uh, and I'll fix that right up for you. Uh, next question. Uh, this is great. Can I still get in the first 40? Yes. So we've still got we've still got uh, spots in the first 40 here. So if you register now, you're okay. Uh, you'll basically know. If you click on the register button, you'll go through and it'll be at the uh, the 297 price. Uh, if you process it through, it goes through, then you know you're in at that, at that price. So again, you can click the register button or go to policeprepmembers.com.au forward slash secrets. So just note that is a different URL to the normal. It's policeprepmembers.com.au forward slash secrets is a members offer. Uh, okay, I've got more people coming in at 297. Cool. Congrats everyone who's in. We've got Anthony, Freya, Caitlin, Jane, Kristen, Michaela, Jamal, all in. This is awesome, guys. Cool. Uh, all right, next question. How long do I have to watch the videos? Okay, yep. Yeah. So once each once each video is completed, uh, it'll be recorded and available in your members access page. And these links won't expire, so you can watch it, you know, over a year if you want it to. I mean, you're probably going to want to pick all this up within the month, so you can start doing it. Uh, but they're just going to sit there for you as soon as they go on. Yep. Yeah. Okay, another question from Tracy. Can I get the course notes instead of the videos? Okay, cool. This is one of the this is actually one of the surprise bonuses to the course, but I'll let you in on that early, Tracy. Yes, the entire Police Academy Secrets video series will also be coming with a set of detailed summary notes to help you actually implement what you learn. So I still encourage you to take notes because that's one of the greatest ways to remember information. And we'll talk about more of that on the course, but uh, we will also be providing notes uh, from each video as we go. So if you prefer, prefer to do it that way, um, you'll be able to go through it that way as well. That was meant to be a surprise, but since you asked, I figured I'll just let that one out. Uh, but there are more surprise bonuses as we go through the course. All right, so I'm having a look now. We are we are getting people in, so those the 40 spots are going to go. Uh, so if you want to take a look at the course, you really need to get in now, as those spots will will go soon. All right, uh, we'll do one more question. Uh, okay, will this work for me? Okay, I. 
uh, we haven't got a name for that, that's okay. All right, well, I can speak a little bit to this. Uh, the question was, will this work for me, as in whoever's asking? And if other people are wondering this, it's the, it's the type of question that uh, goes back to doubt that does block progress for a lot of people. And the reason this course is a progressive four weeks is that I have time between each video to go over your questions each week and make sure each video is customized to meet your needs. So there is plenty of set material that I need to give you, uh, but I also go into depth in answering questions as we go. You either get it in the videos or you get email responses from me. This is the sort of difference that lets me personalize the course into making it work for each one of you. Plus, there's still the refund option if you need it. So, I mean, right now you can get in at 297, go through the whole course, and if I've not massively enhanced your study ability and given you stacks of value in advanced preparation on academy training, just let me know and I'll send every dollar back to you. Okay, so thank you everyone for joining on tonight's webinar. Congratulations to everyone who's already involved in Police Academy Secrets. If you're now ready to take action, simply go to policeprepmembers.com.au forward slash secrets or click the register button and I'll see you in the course. Thanks everybody.